get government out of the way of business. That's the, I mean, outside of the uh, the, of the overburdensome tax and the, and the regulations on business, we've got to get out of the way because we impede a lot of, of innovation in, you know, the private sector that's going to make people's lives better. And, you know, education is a really good example of that. I mean, the digital classroom of the future is the, is the, pinnacle of how to improve education. School choice, where the money follows the child, that's the way to fix education. But we can't do it because it's about power. It's about, you know, that power grab and trying to control. But, but we continue to fund failure, and not just in Georgia, across the nation. We continue to fund failure in education. And it's really sad to me that, you know, in this election, we, in, in every election from you know, back since I can remember, you know, they talk about throwing more money at education to improve it, but that doesn't improve education. As a matter of fact, I think the more money we throw at it, the bigger the bureaucracy goes, the bigger the bloat is, the worse it gets. And until we get government out of the way and let those classrooms be innovative, and that's why I like the digital classroom of the future, because you're not dumbing it down for all the kids. The content's delivered on, online, that's where these kids are living, that's what they're used to. And the teachers become more of classroom coaches and helping the students that are struggling, but the kids can advance at whatever rate they, they, they can accelerate and go, and you're not holding those kids back for the ones that, you know, because everything's the same. So it's really a, a neat, innovative model that's going to improve and educate our kids but it's being blocked and it's a shame. So, because, you know, with, with the content being delivered electronically, you don't need as many teachers. So, but the ones you have, I think are gonna become more, you know, cause some teachers are good at delivering the content. Some teachers are really good at just getting kids motivated and working with them. So the content would be delivered online and the assessments and, you know, how they progress. And then teachers are more of, you know, in a coaching and counseling role. And I, the other reason I really, really like that model is with the breakdown of the family in America and the way that's happened, a lot of these kids need coaching. They don't need this, you know, they get in trouble every time they turn around or every move they make and they can't take a breath and they're just in this box and, and they're afraid to get out of the box because every which way they turn they get in trouble and that's not the way to build free thinking, innovative minds of the future. And so 